And uh, if you've been following local politics as well, you would know that there has been a debate as to how we can increase female participation. Should we even be having this conversation at all? I think it should be an open field for all to contest. Or do you think that uh, we need to make special concession for women? That advocacy has been ongoing for some time now and uh, I think that uh, in studio we're going to be also taking a bite at this particular issue. Yes, play on the track. And then also consider how we can support women who have taken the bold decision to contest at the district level and then by extension look at it on the national scale as well. In studio to help us with this uh, conversation is Kina Likimani. She is a member of the Women's Manifesto Coalition and the director at Odikro representing Abantu. Also, we have Helen Kwanza. She is, uh, uh, I'm sure she's contesting for the Pobiman electoral area in Amasaman and then also Rosemond Obeng, uh, who is contesting for the Lashibi North um, area. So, we have been uh, looking at how we can improve or better still get a lot more women participating in district level elections and then also uh, expand that to let them join the national you know campaigns as well so let me welcome my guest and then we can delve straight into the conversation hello women and uh, ladies good morning and thank you for joining us good morning uh, I, I'd want to start with you Kina mm -hmm. clearly you have been an advocate and pushing this agenda mm -hmm. uh, years and end mm -hmm. do you think nas uh, nationally or nationwide there has been an improvement in the total number of women who get into active politics in fact um no we've uh, we've dipped and you went you know when you introduced the segment you said should this be a conversation we should be having i'm going to this is why we should be having the conversation mm -hmm. currently women represent only 4.3 percent of the entire membership in assemblies across ghana only we only have 282 women out of a total membership of 6061 mm. so when we talk about local governance in fact this is the major crisis facing local governance there are other issues facing local governance but the abysmal representation of women at, in local governance is a crisis in Ghana. Mm. Um, so, in short, no, we haven't made headway. And w what has accounted, I mean, different women have different stories for which reason yes. they are unable to yes. actively participate. Yes. But uh, what top of your... The main, the main, the main constraints are um, systemic, financial, cultural... And I would also add media issues that make it or make women feel like they shouldn't stand mm. or make it impossible for them to stand even when they, have, they are more than qualified and are already doing a lot for their communities and therefore going to, to the assembly is a logical step. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me bring in um, two ladies we have in studio who are uh, actually contesting. And uh, we have Rosemond Dobeng uh, for Lashbi North, and then also Helena Kwanza. She's uh, going for, for the Pobiman electoral area in Amasaman. Have you, what, from, from where you start, is this your first time of attempting anything like this? I'll start with you. Uh, yes, this is my um, first time of um, trying to contest the district assembly elections. But um, I've had quite interaction with the district assembly for some time now. For a lot of years, I've been a volunteer in my lecture area and some communities have also engaged in community development programs and then youth activities. Mm. So currently it's my first, first time, time of, of contesting. Uh, yes. And um, has, what, what, what would you say is your major challenge? Okay, one major challenge is community acceptance. Though the community accept me, depending on the ca uh, category I put myself in, I think they, I know the youth support me, but... Uh, those who are a bit old, um, their their concern is about how young I'm, I am, what I can do. Um, you are a woman and you are you are not old. What you have, the things you own, so mm. and also financial problems. So okay. you have to contest another man or another person who is 
who is having enough to um, campaign. Mm. So it's also a challenge for me that. You know, Okay, uh, is, is it the same for you, Rosemont? Mm. I mean, you are going for the Lashibi North um, mm. electoral area. Yes, what what has been the challenge for you? My, my area, what I would say is that the challenge is not too much talking in terms of the people because it is an elect area, an estate, you know, going to door to door, at least with the organizations that I have, I have done for the community, mm. most even know me. Because that area, auntie here lives around that area. Okay. The relationship over there is very bad. The relationship your, in terms yeah. of uh, how your they next, to your, your, your next door neighbor, you, you will not know the person. The person will not even come out to say hi to you. Yeah. Why, why is that? Estates living. They, 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 think, uh, they think they have and, you know, yeah. individual, yeah. you okay. understand. But yeah. at the end, they... I've been able to go to people one on one mm. that if I knock at their door or if they have problems, they can even say, Go to this lady. Okay. Go to this lady. So you're like the, the go to way. person of the area yes, where people yes, can yes. come. Yes, yes. So to. no matter how it is, even when you come to political, both po- uh, political the parties, parties. Mm. They, they come to me, this is what we have, this is what we know you can do. How can you help us? Then. So at least you are well well known, and that yes. is an advantage you can use. But when it comes to the day of the voting itself, or the campaigning, the process, mm. are there people who are already talking against your abilities in terms of you being a woman, or they are looking at your performance and what you've been able to do in the last in the past? They are looking at the performance, okay? Because in in the vicinity that you live, that. People, the people around there who are pushing you to go. To go, okay. So why okay. not? Yeah. Because if they push you for years, mm. for years now doing um, elections, I work for electoral commission. Mm. So people have known the face. They've known yes, me. Even people not in the area, but votes in the area have known me. Mm. So if they say go, 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 even the men who are pushing you, you know, mm. they, they know you have something to offer. Right. To deliver. Right. So why not go in? Right. So, so have the confidence. So y- at least for you, you have a good foundation and the public support yes. to go. Yeah. And who are your main competitors? Are you the only wo- female or there are other women also contesting? There are other women. There are other women. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a positive, isn't it? Very Looking yes. at, uh, yes. based on this campaign, it yes. is a positive we have yes. other women yes. contesting. Yes. But yes. of all of them, you stand a better chance. Ah, than I know. <laughs> sure. Yeah. One touch. <laughs> One touch. Okay. Confidence. All right. Yeah. Again, let me come to you. Um, um, that, that would be Helen, right? Yes, yeah, Helen. Helen. Are you also the only female contesting? No, no. It would surprise you that the current assembly person is a woman. Oh, and she's my mom's friend. She's her friend, and I think she's also her campaign. And she's also <laughs> contesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's contesting. Okay, but um, comparing this to previous years, do we have more women contesting now? Yes. Now yes. We have, we have more yes, women there are more yes. women contesting. Yes, how have you prepared yourself? You know, we're going to be looking at maybe, for instance, what your message will be, how you deliver it, and how you coordinate with key stakeholders like the chiefs and people, the mm-hmm. opinion mm-hmm. leaders and people mm-hmm. like that. How have you prepared for the, for the election? Okay, so I have um, a community map I have developed. So I have a map where I have sampled the youth, the older people, and then the the stakeholders, the chiefs and the pastors and the Mm. imams. So my message will be according to the groups I have formed. So the first strategy is to meet the chiefs of the the land. Mm. So I have been working previously with some communities where I've met stakeholders and focus groups and they know know me and what we do in the community. So it's to inform them about my decisions of um, uh, participating in the district assembly elections. And what they should look up to, and then the expectation I shared on TV TV that the expectations from the um, members of the community are either one or two of yours that Mm. they expect you to be their provider because you are the assembly person. Mm. But when we let them know that the assembly has a a responsibility for on its own, and the member also, and the member is 
an intermediate person they can look to, mm. to the assembly, mm. then they will make an informed choice rather than promising them mm -hmm. what I don't have. You don't have. Yes. Yeah, I, and I believe it's the same problem for you as well. Mm -hmm. When they expect you to be the builder of the roads and the schools mm -hmm. and the community mm -hmm. and solver of all problems that mm -hmm. they have, H how are you dealing with those kinds of expectations? Be before then, most of the times when they complain, I do tell them, you, you know, initially, roads construction was in the hands of the MPs before mm. it was moved to the assembly. So that is what the clarification I make to them. That is the desert. But at the end of the day, you see that they come and they don't work. Okay. Even if the money is not there, if the, if the government has not given you the opportunity to um, do those projects, Go ahead and execute those just things. come to the community, mm -hmm. organize them, talk to them, tell them something mm -hmm. okay. for them to know there is hope for mm -hmm. them. Okay. But if you leave things just like that, mm -hmm. and then they don't know, so why should I go and vote? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I live in the Lashibi area. Uh, yeah. yeah. And our roads are dismal. I don't know. I haven't terrible. even, I, first of all, the I, drainage system I is driven every year. We there haven't is a seen our <laughs> MP, Carlos, I don't know. <laughs> and it's even nice to be sitting next to someone who's going into the assembly. And in, in another program we're on, on Onya, she talked yes, about roads and she talked about our drainage system mm -hmm. and the flooding mm -hmm. issues we have. So, I think and and when those, I mean, so let's come back to how your outfit is helping mm -hmm, them prepare mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and putting them in mm -hmm, pole position mm -hmm. to, you know, mm -hmm. get the, 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 the votes. What what do you do for them? How are you taking them mm -hmm. through the preparatory stages? Well, Abantu, stages? and it's not just Abantu, this uh, particular project... The, this particular project is funded by Stagana. Right. But Abantu, ActionAid, WellDAF, it's been years... Um, decades really mm. of uh, engaging and addressing this sh issue of um, it tr raising the num the representation of women in our legislative bodies um, the okay. assembly and the parliament so um, what Habantu has done has been not only advocacy media work such as this because the media um, how the media speaks about candidates is very very important how the media talks about women makes women either feel like, okay, the media environment is friendly towards me okay. as a woman and I can stand, or it makes us feel the opposite. Um, there have been training of uh, candidates, um, not only for positions in, uh, in, in, gov in, in, in our democracy, but also um, university, like to training women, um, young women leadership. So, okay. yeah, that's been what's been happening. Those are the but key also things. affirmative action. So it's a, it's a, one would say that it's a multi-pronged approach mm. of trying to, um, of really engaging with the issue of low representation of women in governance. And, and this is nationwide. This is nationwide. Um, it's part of, you know, the, we are also doing affirmative action advocacy. So okay. it, it's been, we are, we, I think it's been decades of doing this, but also realizing we need an act to sort of fill the holes. Yes, so, and then and support um, it. Yes, legally. so... Legally. Yes. Right, and then um, when you take them through this process, this has the participation improved? Uh, do they show that much zeal and enthusiasm that, yes, this is something we believe with the right guidance we can go through? Yes, and, and yes, but as I say, we can't workshop women into positions of leadership. Um, because at the current rate of numbers, mm -hmm. it would take a really long time to get to 50%. Mm -hmm. So hence the affirmative action bill that we are also championing. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we have... Helen is a, is, is a product of these trainings. You see what I'm trying to say. So yeah. the key thing, though, is that we do as much as we can to cover as many of the bases and, and, and the problems. And a lot of it... As women's rights organizations and feminists, a lot of it we will hand, we will talk about. But the actual change has to come within society. Media has to change the way they talk, the negative stereotyping they have of women. Mm. You see what I'm trying to say? If a woman's politician issue comes up and people are, you know, weaponizing um, gendered insults, you know, uh, she's pretty or she's not pretty. She's married or she's not mm. married. She slept with too many men. Oh, she's pretty, so she must have slept. Mm. Or she doesn't cook. Mm. Or she doesn't. We are always being assessed on these things. But this is not... We are... Sebio, <laughs> we are not just yes. um, I mean, mothers I mean, those are not and, and daughters. Mm. Those are not grounds for eliminating somebody yeah. from from competition to, to, to lead and yeah. to be part of decision-making processes. So... 
um, a lot of the, the in fact, uh, quite a bit of the work has to be done by Ghanaian media. media. So we mm-hmm. implore the media and, to and not, you know, to, 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 to give a fair... We're not saying that be nice to women. We are but saying then be, it fair. be fair. Yeah. Be yeah. fair. And, not be fair. And, and how, how is um, the public perception... Is it part of your advocacy and campaign mm-hmm. to also help change public perception? Yes. Or just empowering yes. the women? Yes. 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 Um, the public perception needs to change. But like I say, no. If the public perception isn't changing, we are not stopping. Okay. You see, <laughs> so, that, I, I, I want to make that clear. Yeah. <laughs> because the public continue. perception, you see, sometimes um, for the public to change, you need to engineer that change. Yeah. Do you see mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? If we didn't have an education system, people would send their children mm-hmm. to school. You can't say send your children to school, but you don't have an education system. So it sometimes, a lot of the times, you engineer that change. And we are for engineering change. Deliberate. De- you, you ha- because it's, a, it's, a, it's an oppressive, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's an oppression. So you have to be deliberate in the, in the ways in which you address the issue. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I mean, that's a campaign we are also interested in and supporting yeah. and let's let's wrap this conversation up and come to uh, the ladies in studio and i'm act- already campaigning for you to at least yeah. <laughs> try and annex the seat so so you are you become the 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 example for other women yes. you know who will be interested in political positions what are your strategies when you go out to campaign and what do you tell the people how do you put your message across? So, because others are watching you and are listening, your competitors know that, mm-hmm. okay, she says when she comes, she will try and push this and do that, and they are listening. But how are you carrying yourself mm-hmm. so that the public perception that, oh, it's a woman, she's married or she's not married, etc., those things will not be attached to your campaign? Mm-hmm. Um, there is a saying that uh, your, your good works talk for you. Speak for you. And at the end of the day, it is not, I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. It is the people who are saying, you have something to deliver. Go. So it is not about, maybe there are a lot of women challenging. It is, it is your good works. Because when, when, uh, even yes, people not, F- even in my no, area, you, when you go to a, a Jekujo like this, there is a guy contesting over there, Imanu Ohine. He said, oh, mommy, you can go. You can go. Mm. Go, go. You, you have something to deliver. All of them encouraging me from different areas. Mm. Okay. Then, so, so, you, know, you know that. So for you, no your electoral area, you seem to have good enough support. And this is your first time, right? This is my this first is your time. first time. Okay. And so, what would your for for another first timer um, who is also going? What would your strategy and advice be for her and then other women who would also want to contest maybe next year? Uh, what I would say is that they should they should get their self involved. They should get to the people. They should know the people. Mm-hmm. In terms of communi- community labor, mm. you know, cleaning up exercise, when there is funeral, when there is mm-hmm. wedding, at least show up. Even in my area, nobody will come and invite you. Okay. Nobody you will should, come and invite you. At least show your face. Oh, I, I live next door neighbor, okay. next street, okay. this, this. Okay. At the end of the day, they can confine in you mm. and say, if there is something, let's go in for this person. This person is capable of helping. That, this be a people been, person. Yes. Be part of the community. Yes. Don't that is that is that is how I have been. Okay. So everybody know knows me. They know when you call Rosemont, they said even during the um, national identification ID, mm. when it, it it has not started, people were coming to my house. When is it going to take place? Okay. When is okay. it going to take place? So the- when we started, I have to go houses to houses to call in people. Sometimes go and queue in for people. Right. For to make sure, and even now they are still calling. Okay, you have the capacity, okay. so okay. go. So know. at least you are in pole position. That that's pretty good and impressive. And Rosemond, you what would, I'm sorry, Helen. And and we need we need money to push up. You yeah. need the money and money the support. Money to push up too. All right, yeah. then. Please take the mic and then also tell us so your final words and how you are rolling out your campaign, how it's going so far. Okay, so there is this um disconnection between. Um, assembly persons I have seen the connection is to do with their youth mm. in my community the youth constitutes the majority in the com- uh, area but here is the case the youth don't even know what's going on in mm. their com- area so one strategy I'm using is the youth they are my target because they are the one pushing 
because when they heard I'm contesting, they are like, wow, we are waiting mm. for someone who understands our language. Okay. So someone who okay. is going to talk on behalf of them. So the youth and other women are part of my target. I know I, I know the adults will also vote. Yes. But there is this disconnection when lack of information. So we don't they don't usually see the usefulness of the assembly okay. persons in okay. the community. Okay. So making it me being a youth and a young woman, a, a woman also, and understanding them, they feel more secured that their voices will be heard at the assembly. Mm. So it's one strategy I'm using to disseminate information. I will, I would constantly give them feedbacks from the assembly and then to the assembly also. Mm. And then there's um, working with other women, finding out that women really, really are the most affected ones when it comes to um, development issues in the communities okay. we work with. And being a woman, understanding how they feel and being part of their environment as a woman, mm. I think I have the best chances to communicate effectively their problems at the additional assembly. So when okay. there is a debate and we, w we need a champion in, I'm there right there. You are the, the main person. I'm okay. the woman with the <laughs> grassroots. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, uh, ladies. We've been joining. We were joined in studio by Kina Likiman. She's a member of the Women's Manifesto Coalition and the director this at Odikro, representing Abantu. Two, also, two, Helen Kwanza. Uh, she's going or uh, contesting for the... Uh, Kobiman electoral area in Amasaman, and then also Rosemond Obeng, she's going for the Lashibi North electoral area. Thank you very much for coming, for and uh, we wish you all the best in the coming elections. And uh, we hope to talk to you when you are now.